Well, Mitch Stark, uh, unfamiliar surroundings for you, uh, but what have you been doing here today? Yeah, lifting a bit of weight. Uh, change of scenery has been good. Uh, most of the boys are on, on holidays or over in the IPL, so it's been a little bit lonely over in the gym, uh, either Pat Cummins and myself, so it's nice to, to get out in a different environment and see the boys train a bit, uh, lift a few weights as well. You were doing your weight session in a giant singlet. I think uh, a few of the boys got excited, thought we had a new centre-half forward. Well, they haven't seen me kick yet, so or we'll try and take a mark. And um, yeah, yeah, it was it's nice to get out and see the boys going around after a good win on the weekend and um, say hello to a few familiar faces. Yeah, because you've got to know a few of the boys over the last few years, haven't you? Yeah, it's nice. I'll send uh, fill a few texts here and there and um, get on the text after the win on the weekend as well. And but yeah, it's it's been good um, to get to get to know a few of the boys. Um, obviously, living close by in Breakfast Point for a while, but um, yeah, keep in touch and, and see the boys do well on the weekend was great. Now, talking about the weekend, we saw you pretty vocal on Twitter and getting uh, your team. Mate Nathan Lyon right into the Giants as well, we're here. Yeah, it sounded like he, he had it on the TV. He was sending me a few messages um, asking how the boys are going to go this year and uh, it was great to see him get over the line and I think I, I sent him a few too, too many text messages because he, he didn't reply after a while. <laughs> but we'll get him on board. <laughs> well, he's originally from Canberra, so uh, hopefully you can uh, take him out in orange soon. Yeah, definitely. I think I might just put a shirt in his bag or something, make sure he puts it on soon. But yeah, Canberra boy, or young boy, so um, not too far away from, from Monica and he obviously played a bit for, for the ACT and, and knows the surrounds quite well, so we'll have to get him out to a few games and, and teach him the team song. Now we saw the coach, Darren Lehman, recently followed the Giants on Twitter as well. Could he uh, be possibly be looking at changing from his beloved Adelaide Crows as well? Well, I'll keep working on him. I'll try and work on a few of the boys, but uh, being a, a proud Adelaide boy and, and obviously on the, on the Crows, uh, might take a bit more work than, than someone like Nathan but I'll keep jamming into them and see how they go. Now, you've also got involved with the Giants tipping competition on gwsgiants.com.au this year. You up against Melissa Doyle and G-Man. I hear there's a, a bit of a prize at the end of the year for uh, between you and Mel as well. Yeah, I think the, the loser's got to cook the other uh, a meal. So um, I've been buying a few cookbooks just to make sure. Um, work on my cooking. But uh, at the moment, we've, we've tipped the same for the first two weeks. So uh, it might be G-Man trying to cook us a meal. But um, yeah, I think we're both going to have to step it up. We haven't done too well. Uh, so yourself, the injuries are slowly getting better and, and uh, six days a week training for you at the moment. What does the next few months look like? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much healed now. It's just trying to get the workload back into it, um, get the time on the legs and, and bowl a few balls. So uh, nice to be back training and, and bowling and um, even, you know, even, even better being in the Giants gym to lift a few weights. But um, yeah, look, we've got about six or seven weeks now to, to make sure I'm 100% ready to go for a, a tour of the West Indies and play some one-day cricket. So excited to be close to being back. But um, even, yeah, as I said before, it's nice to be in a different, different environment and see how, how the other sports do it. Now our Giants go to a venue that you're very familiar with this weekend, the SCG up against the Swans. Uh, any tips or local knowledge that you can pass on to the boys? Oh, I haven't played there for a, for a little bit now, but um, yeah, look, it's, it's obviously a nice ground, uh, the new stand, stands there and um, yeah, it's got a, a lot of history in the change rooms, obviously there's a, there's a bit of history in the, the AFL change rooms as well, um, but yeah, lovely ground to play on, I'll be out there having a watch, um, so hopefully the, the Giants can go two up, uh, two in a row now and then uh, give it to the Swans again like they did in the NAB Cup. Well Mitch, great to have you here at the club, uh, really proud that you're involved with the Giants and all the best with uh, your, your comeback from the injuries and uh, for the year ahead. Thanks mate, and go Giants.